Blake McKay scored over 2,000 points during his career at Woodlawn High School. He decided to reopen his recruiting process. For months, we've been waiting to see which school he chooses. He recently signed with Lincoln Trail. Now I can just focus on basketball. There's a lot of other distractions, um, and it's just part of the process, but there's a lot of other things I have my mind on, and now that it's, it's ready to go, now it's, all that's left is for me to get, to get better and, and produce. Blake McKay was committed to play at McKendree University, a Division II program. The Woodlawn product has Division I aspirations, so he opened up the recruiting process. It had its share of challenges during the pandemic. It was definitely more difficult than, than usual. I kind of had a taste of it before the pandemic hit, my junior year going into senior year. But um, since I got out of McKendry, I, you know, my recruitment was a lot more active than, than it was before. So really, I, I'm just used to this version of it. You know, it really illuminates the, the person, personal relationship with the coaches and, and, you know, the authenticity of people. And that's what you, you more base it on the people and um, the reputation and stuff like that rather than, you know, because you can't really base it off what you see. And after thinking it over, McKay decided Lincoln Trail provided him with the best opportunity. They kind of got in my recruiting a little later than some of the other schools. And after I got off the phone with, with Coach Stucky, I just felt like this sense of excitement. And, um, I, you know, I had that with some schools, but not, not as much as Lincoln Trail, probably the most with them. And I just felt excited, and the, the basketball situation fit perfectly for me. It's, um, it's about two hours from, from my house, so I'm going to go to the college experience, but I can still be near home. Perfect basketball fit for me, the way they run things, and um, – I'm going to be around really good players that will elevate me in practice. And, and obviously, it's in the GRAC, a really good conference, one of the best JUCO conferences. So, yeah, it was just a perfect fit for me. Blake is ready to get to work. One thing I respected a lot is they don't promise any minutes at all. You know, he, Coach Stuckey is very upfront and, like I said, authentic. That was one thing I was looking for. And, but um, given that I work hard and I, and I, and I um, earn everything, uh, my role hopefully will be, you know, somebody that can get him a bucket, somebody that can score and, and play make similar to what I did in high school and and uh, just a combo guard. You know, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm, I can play the one or the two, point guard or shooting guard, and, and I'll be facilitating, but also I, I'm, I'm, my role is going to be scoring as well. McKay had to make a tough decision regarding his basketball career, but he fouled his heart. It was really hard because the people at McKendry are just great people and, it was a really good situation for me there, but um, I kind of wanted to just, just you know, go as far as I can. You know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, um, you know, go to McKendry and then regret not going for more. Hopefully, Division One, like, like four years down the road. And um, you know, McKendry is such a good school and basketball school. Like the um, coach Foster has them moving in the right direction. So, you know, that's a great fit for anyone, but just my personal you know, situation with it. I just wanted to, to go for it, you know, kind of bet on myself type situation. And McKay believes Coach Stuckey can elevate his game to the next level. He's got evidence of what he's been able to do in, in guys from previous years. Um, a guy that I talked to, Eric Monkhouse, was was a player for him, for him last year, and he's kind of a similar player to I am. And he just committed to Denver University, and he's, be, he's going to play Division One basketball. So, you know, it, it's just kind of proof that if he can do that for him, Given I work hard, then you know there's a possibility that I can get the same results. So that's that's the goal. There were some people that were surprised he didn't follow Coach Gamber to Ren Lake. That was definitely one of my top choices the whole time, and you know what fit my my liking and my scenario the best. And ultimately, I thought Lincoln Trail was, but. Um, I have a great relationship with Coach Gamber at Ren Lake, and I wish them all the best for sure.